Hey there, this is Mungo Studio Sensei, and this is going to be a short troubleshooting tips tutorial on the Contour Line Paint tool. Now, if you've been using the Contour Line Paint tool a little bit, you probably have discovered that it doesn't seem to work as intended, or it doesn't look like the example they give. For example, let's take this kind of like darker red and this peachy color and this blue, and then just use the tool willy nilly. What do I get? I get washed out colors and weird halo artifacting and stuff like that. Stuff that doesn't make any sense and doesn't look pretty. Well, why is this? Well, it's quite simple. Uh, Mongo Studio doesn't play nicely with fills when it comes to anti-alias lines. So what you want to do is take whatever pen that you're using. I would prefer using pens. Brushes usually have a natural um, transparency to them, so they're not suitable either. But like, just take any, like even the G pen, just turn off the anti-aliasing. Uh, go do the same thing again and going backwards this time and apply the same thing and you'll get nothing but s smooth clean transitions between each and that's just because there's no transparency to muck with the calculations that the, the tool is making now mind you this tool is actually really amazing because it also doesn't just do straight gradients it actually follows the contours of your draw of what lines you're drawing so say if I wanted to make kind of like a marbly swirly pattern I can do that by just squiggling, 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 and then my dark point is right here, and my light point is right around here, and use it, and look, it keeps that uh, kind of the shape of it. So it's, it's pretty self-aware, and it allows you to do things that you normally don't do with gradients, because gradients are usually straightforward and you have to go a specific angle or you have to s specify that it's going to be a circle. This allows you to make transitions with just like a couple strokes and and uh, just filling it in. So yeah, it's a very easy tool to use. And so hopefully that helps you have a little bit more fun with this tool and less frustration. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, uh, contact me at k at mangastudiosensei.com or leave a comment at mangastudiosensei.com. And uh, thanks for listening. Bye.